Hey, what's up, Seekers? Juan Nugi with Golden Dragon Fortune, your K Rap Psychic. And we're going to be doing a reading for Kim Jisoo of Blackpink. We have uh, did her ships about mm, half a year ago, six months, four or five six months ago. And now we uh, we didn't do her reading, so I want to do a quick reading for her and see, you know, like, ha, how do you like that? Before she starts saying that uh, and her new comeback. So, you ready, Blink? Here we go. I'm your K Rap Psychic. Try me twice, you'll like it, like it. My name is Wanuji. Oh, just call me Wanuji. I'm a wise fortune teller and a really mellow fella. Ask me about your favorite idol. See their future, see what's vital. Everybody, come in. Welcome. And uh, let's take a look at a little reading for the next six months to a year for Kim Jisoo. Jichu, Jichu, the 4D uh, oldest member of. Blackpink. And we're going to do it in real quick. We're going to do it in um, uh, three different questions or three different areas. We're going to look at an overview of her the energy flowing in her future over the next six to 12 months in general. And then we're going to look at uh, maybe her career and see if there's a little bit more insight there. And then we're going to break it down into maybe her love life and see what's going on there. And then uh, we're going to use the tea leaves to help, help us kind of get a little more sense of the love life part. Uh, so I got my tea leaves over here that I've already kind of sipped out for her. And I've already kind of concentrated on Chisu uh, to pick these styles. So let's get started. You ready? Here we go, Blinks. Okay. It says that we're starting from the center going outwards to show the passage of time. So she's going to be very happy uh, in the next two, three months. She's going to be happy that uh, this is represents happiness. It says that she's going to be very happy about how things are developing. Finally, uh, after a year or over a year in the, in the dungeon at uh, YG, um, and that, that she's going to feel like there's a little more flexibility and adaptability in what uh, what she can do and what, uh, is, what she's able to do, I think, uh, because they've probably been pretty regimented here up until this time of the comeback. And so the next couple of three months is going to be good for her. Uh, she's going to be pretty happy about things you know, overall. And and then it kind of gets into maybe a little more flexibility about uh, three to six months from now, where she's going to need to be flexible because there's going to be a lot of communications, talking. Maybe she's going to be doing some things that emphasize communications. I don't know if that's, you know, singing. Um, but I think it's more about talking and communicating. So maybe she's going to be doing some things that are, you know, maybe on the, uh, the shows or something like that, doing the rounds, the PR stuff. But it seems like there's going to be a need for flexibility uh, and communications in about three to six months. So that's getting us uh, close to the end of the year. Uh, probably, you know, uh, September, October, November, December, somewhere in that time frame. And then as you kind of get toward the end of the year and start the new year, there's going to be something creative that she's going to be working on. Um, and there's going to be an emphasize in creative activity. This is called the lute. The lute represents a string instrument, symbolizes the, the arts and performing and creativity and comfort and relaxation. So she's probably going to be working on something, a project, but it's going to take some time and effort. It's not going to happen right away. Uh, this jade represents something that has some value, intrinsic value, but it's going to take some time and effort for it to fully you know, realize the value of it. So it may take a little bit longer than um, maybe uh, she wants, or maybe it's, you know, it's reasonable to, to expect. So just be patient, Link. But that's what it seems to say. Uh, for some reason, it's that way. And then it says that there, there may be something coming up. This is very interesting. Roughly about a year from now, maybe nine months to a year from now. So may, next summer around this time, um, there's going to be some emphasis on a relationship. This is the two of bamboo. Maybe it's a partnership um, or a relationship, but this is the two of bamboo. It's called the ducks. And ducks are always seen together. So it implies that there's going to be another person that's going to be emphasized in about nine to 12 months from now. And there's going to be some type of commitment that she's going to be, that's going to be made. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what that's trying to say, but this, this is called the knot, as in K-N-O-T. So it says that there's going to be some type of commitment, it emphasizes the commitment, uh, roughly about a year from now, like next summer, 2021. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, and it's with another person. So I don't know if that's a collab, or she's doing something that uh, maybe it's um, something else. So we'll have to see what, the, what that says. Let's see what the other uh, questions are. So now we're going to look at the career and a little bit more specific about career, but around the same time frame, the next year, and a quick overview. And it says that, uh, yeah, uh, the, the lotus shows up, the five of bamboo. This represents kind of expansion and growth and opening up to new possibilities. So that's happening as we speak, you know, in the next two or three months. And again, it says she's going to be happy about it. This represents happiness, so it's the same towel here. So those kind of coincide. Um, and it says that there's going to be some good luck or good fortune that comes up in about three to six months. Uh, so, you know, near the fall, there's going to be some good luck. Uh, but 
it also kind of says that, you know, if she's really honest with herself, she'll kind of know how to deal with that and what to do. Uh, I mean, she's going to have some clarity about what decisions, choices to be made. Um, but she's going to feel like there's some good luck. Maybe that's with the album. Um, but it says there's going to be something that she's going to be aware of around that time, toward the end of the year, that points to the first quarter of next year, 2021. Because this is called the plum blossom, and it represents the first tree to bloom in the spring. And it symbolizes something new is going to be blooming and opening up. But this is going to be probably, she's aware of it, maybe toward the end of the year, the beginning of the new year, but it's kind of pointing to the beginning of 2021, the first two, three months. Um, and somehow that new thing is going to give her a chance to let go of some past disappointments and do some, you know, kind of put things behind her and do some healing. Because this represents healing. So maybe this, maybe this is the promise of her solo from way back when. Maybe there's going to be something new that's going to be, it's going to be developing then. But we get to pick another tile for her. She gets a bonus tile because of her beauty and charm. So let's work on this together. I'm going to focus on these tiles and we're going to focus on um, Jisoo. We're going to say Om and we're going to, in our in breath and in our out breath, we're going to mentally say Jisoo, Kim Jisoo. And when we feel a shift in energy, we're going to pick some tiles. This is how I do it. So let's focus on her. Okay, right here. It says it's going to be something that's going to be difficult and challenging, but something new. So I think it's going to be stretching her a little bit uh, in the first quarter of the year, but uh, and be difficult and challenging, but she's going to work her way through it because it's kind of a new thing and uh, it's going to allow her to get, get go with some past disappointments and maybe overcome some things that she's, you know, that were regretful perhaps in the past. And it says that uh, that's going to make her feel very um, excited about something that she wants to do. She's, there's something that she finds uh, more risky and she's willing to kind of take the risk. Uh, it seems like she wants to move forward with something, uh, a new project or something. It's going to take a pro it's something that's going to take some time and effort to develop and uh, really become more valuable to her. But she sees the potential um, for her career. And uh, this is about nine to 12 months from now. So I don't know if the, she's going to have a different uh, responsibility or a different role or she's doing something with her, with her solo music or something like that. But it says it's something that she wants to really kind of risk, take a risk on and try. And it's, that has some long-term benefits for her, for her career. Um, so that's what it says. And then this, this, this row here is about her uh, love life. So let's see what the towels say for that. It says right now, the, you know, it's, the love life is difficult because she's busy kind of changing the way she sees herself and the group, kind of getting back to things. The North Tower says there is some cold wind blowing through and kind of uh, putting love on the side. Um, and the Peacock says that she's changing the way she sees herself. She's kind of evolving, kind of maturing to the next phase of her, her life, maybe as a, in her career, maybe as in Black Pink, or maybe as just a woman. She's kind of ready to move forward. Um, over the next three months and it says that uh, there's going to be something that she's going to be very committed to uh, in three to six months uh, again this not shows up represents commitment and it says it's going to be something that may have to do with uh, the lute performing music um, you know her, her singing career um, so that seems to be uh, the focus for the next six months probably to the end of the year it's just working on all these career aspects um, but it says there's going to be something that uh, maybe uh, represents a location or travel or again landed property or something uh, that starts off slow and moves slowly but seemingly seemingly in the right direction for her in, in her career uh, so maybe i don't know maybe she just has a little more flexibility where she lives or what uh, what her schedule is uh, but in the springtime uh, that seems to be the case, and it says there's going to be something new. Something new is going to be starting. Uh, the Lotus shows up. The Lotus is a very positive tile, represents enlightenment and awakening, and the start of something new. Uh, and maybe some expansion and growth in her social life and her love life. And, um, and it says that she's going to be thinking a lot about what's the long-term implications. This jade represents, uh, you know, just like here, she's going to be thinking a lot about what is her long-term plan for her future. Um, she's going to be, you know, that time she's going to be having a birthday and she's going to turn another year older and she's going to be thinking about, you know, the second half of her 20s and what her plans are for the future. But she wants to start something new and maybe create something new for 
for the future, but working on it uh, that may have to do with her social and love life. Um, probably early next year or about nine to 12 months from now or so. So let's see what the, let's see what the, uh, the tea leaves say about it. Maybe they can give us some clues. And so uh, let's do that next and see if we can find something that uh, gives us some clues about her ships or her possibilities. All right, Blinks, you ready? Yeah, I want you to help me out, okay? I want you to use your imagination and help uh, see what you see in the tea leaves and make some comments. We're gonna do that next. And here we go. All right, Blinks. We're gonna be looking at their tea leaves for Jisoo. We're gonna start right here. This is gonna be the starting, and we're gonna to go to the left and go all the way around. And that's gonna be roughly about a year. So let's take a look and see what's here. Now, do you see anything, anything that's symbolic uh, that might be for, represent Jisoo? Is this a, is that a little V? Is that a little bird or butterfly? What is that? And then this here, this, does this look like something for you? Is this like a, I don't know, does that look like a little bear climbing a tree? Or something that might be a clue? I mean, there's some busy things here, so maybe this is just her, her comeback, and they're just kind of busy, and they're trying to reach for some things. But uh, this is interesting here, there's an I and a V. Uh, is that a V and an I? Uh, so that might mean something, that's the letters. Could, could be representative of something. There's some symbols here. What do you think this is? These are interesting. Is this like, you know what that is? Is it a little chicken or something moving? Is that a gun going left? Or something that, uh, oh, it's really interesting. It's got gold and it's red. It's got some di different colors here. Is that a horse head there? Is that maybe, am I seeing things? Is that, is that a, be a horse looking that way? Or maybe this is a horse looking up. You're the horse, uh, in Chinese astrology, it means something there, some clues. It's about three months out. So there's a, this, uh, this thing here, which is interesting. Looks like, a, I don't know if it's like two things side by side, kind of moving forward. Uh, is that maybe a clue about something? This though down here, what is that? That looks a little bit like Japan. I don't know. Um, here, this, Looks like this is, I don't know, this, like, is this a robot or something sitting in a chair? Or is this uh, somebody laying down with their back to us? Um, what do you see there, Blinks? I'm looking for your help to get some ideas about uh, clues for Jisoo about ships. And uh, maybe there's somebody here, kind of reaching down, some, touching somebody, putting some blankets over their, their body. What do you think? Is this a pig? That, like a little pig head there. A year of the pig, perhaps. What is that? Now, is that a carrot or what do you see there? Something going on there. It gets kind of quiet here, but then it gets to pick up. This is roughly, I don't know, this is about six months from now, I guess. So, toward the end of the year, beginning of the year. And, uh, what is that there? Is that a little dragon or a little snake? Or maybe this is a, is that a phoenix rising again? Spreading its wings? Maybe that's another comeback or maybe it's her solo. But maybe there's some clues about ships. Is that a horse perhaps? Something of that sort. This is a little, this is a little message or a fan. Uh, is this something side by side? Is that symbolic of something here? Um, maybe if you look at it a certain way. Is that the, is that the part of the, the top of the BTS symbol? Uh, well, this is interesting here. You got this kind of gold jasmine leaf kind of mixed in there. It's almost like it's like a little fish there or something that's being caught. Or maybe there's something that's uh, wrapped up in a special way. And how about over here? Is that a V? This, uh, what is this? Is this a Grammy? Gramophone symbol? Or what about over this side? Is that, is that like a little tiger? Tiger face? Something of that sort? 
Uh, this is about nine months out. Is this a bird flying? So, or is this a duck? Is that a bird? Looks like there's a couple, three animals here maybe. Is that a little sheep? Here are the sheep. Maybe that's a clue there. Then over here, not sure what that is. But uh, maybe you see some symbols there. And then over here, we're getting close to about a year from now. Something's kind of coming out. It's like, like it's almost like something symbolically is coming out from the shadows, out from the bottom, starting to rise again. You know, like some of the reading said, uh, there's something maybe up here that uh, is trying to be reached. Uh, looks like there's something here that uh, that's a city. Is that the tower in Seoul or another another place? There's just some clues here. You know, use your imagination. Tell me what you think here. Um, so that's about a year. So see, tell me if you have any ideas about what you see there for the tea leaves for Kim Ji Soo and maybe some ship clues for Kim Ji Soo. All right, Blinks. How you like that? All right, Blinks. That's it. That's a quick reading for Ji Soo. How you like that? You know, uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna wait for that comeback. It's start, starting tomorrow, and so uh, everybody excited. And uh, I think it's gonna be a great thing. And we're going to see how Jisoo performs and, uh, and Blackpink. So really looking forward to it. Hey, thanks for joining us. Hey, if you wanna know about your compatibility with one of your favorite idols uh, in K-pop uh, or maybe in K-drama, um, then you know just uh, give us your birth date, the hour, day, month, year, city, country, and uh, who, you want, who you wanna match up with compatibility. And if you like and subscribe, then we'll we'll answer you back if you put some notes uh, in the comments, and uh, or if you wanted to see how two two of your favorite idols are match up, if you like and subscribe, we'll try to answer you there as well. So uh, take advantage of that now uh, because I might you know might might not do it all the time. Uh, we would just have to like and subscribe subscribe in the minimum. So anyway, that's all for now. Kim Jisoo, she's got the same birthday as me. We're birthday buddies. You know, so I really like uh, Jisoo. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous, but she's got a great personality. She's charming and funny. So, um, Chichu, uh, good luck to you. And, and for all of you Blinks out there, thanks for dropping in. And until next time, we're gonna wish you all good fortune. Hey, what's up, seekers? Looking in the future, peekers. You keep our breakers coming round and see us every weekers. Yo, diehard K-pop fans, I want to know your stands. Just let us know your bias, then go ahead, try us.